I know many women will try to do everything on their own and avoid burdening their partner with anything in fear that he'll resent you and leave. But this is the wrong approach if you want to truly satisfy him. To create a happy, healthy relationship that feels right for both parties, you need to make your man feel needed. Hi, I'm Emily Baker, women's dating coach, and I'm here on YouTube to answer relationship questions and help you love better. Thank you so much for watching. While you're here, I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button. So why is it important for men to feel needed? Call it biological, historical, cultural, or whatever you want. For most of time, men have fallen into the role of provider. Because of this, modern men feel a strong desire to provide for the people around them, especially the women they date. Without this, they'll always feel like something is missing or that they aren't truly living up to their potential. I think we all want to date someone who makes us feel like the best version of ourselves. Making him feel needed is one of the best ways you can do this. And even if you think that this is all sexist and backwards, I think we can all agree that anyone would love to feel needed by their partner and their relationship. This gives us reassurance that we're bringing something to the table and we aren't replaceable. And part of being needed means doing things for this other person. And these interactions, even if it's as small as holding a door for someone or bringing them a glass of water, will create a stronger connection over time. This is called interdependence, the sweet spot between complete independence and codependence. While codependence can be fun and romantic and exciting, it's not sustainable or healthy. And while independence is an important part of life, if you insist on it in every aspect of your life, it's gonna make it difficult to get close to people. Interdependence is about relying on one another, trusting one another, and growing together in a way that's healthy. So with that in mind, let's talk about some simple ways you can make a man feel needed. Ask for help. This is the first step that so many people are completely unable to do. Men feel needed when they're able to help you. And the best way to make this happen is to ask for the help you need. Obviously, this isn't always an easy needle to thread. You don't want to ask him to wash your car or anything like that. But when something comes up where you think, this would be so much easier with another set of hands, or this is way outside my skill set, then these are the moments to ask for help. This is a request, not a demand. So let him know that you'd appreciate his help and that it would make things easier on you. And hopefully he'll jump at the chance. Of course, there's a chance that he isn't able to help you, and you need to be okay with that. Still, while this isn't a test, if he flat out refuses and makes you feel bad for even asking, or if he always has some excuse with why he can't help you, or if he'll help you but acts like he's doing you a huge favor, these are red flags that maybe he's not someone who you can rely on. Be grateful. Getting him to help you is only half the story. Once he's done something for you, whether this is something straightforward like fixing your car or something more abstract like supporting you through a tough time, make a point of letting him know how much you appreciate him. This is more than just a quick thanks. You need to make sure that he feels that he's really done something for you and that you appreciate him for it. Often saying thank you is enough. But if you're able to show him you appreciate it through doing something in return or getting him a little gift, that can be even better. Just remember that you don't have to go over the top with it. For most men, just knowing that they helped you is enough. Come on to him. Sometimes to make a man feel needed, you have to make him feel wanted. I think the best way to make this happen is to initiate sex more often. I know many people struggle with this, but there are so many ways to make it happen. If you're unwilling to make the first move, sending a few sexy texts and maybe even a nude will certainly send the message. Really, you can do so much with just a sexy look into his eyes. That should be enough to get his attention in a lot of cases. Otherwise, I advise more women to actually take the step of actively coming onto their partners. If it's not something you're used to, it can be a bit uncomfortable at first, but Trust me when I say that you have nothing to worry about. He's gonna appreciate the attention more than you know. And once you've done it a couple of times, it'll be a piece of cake. Many women actually find this really empowering. And it's a great way to level the playing field if 
You're used to always being the one receiving his advances. Let him do it. I know many people are resistant to receiving help, even when it's offered. But while you're trying to be considerate, if you don't know when to say yes, it can quickly become just off-putting. This is much like receiving a compliment. There are times to be humble and times to just appreciate it and move on. I think of it this way. They wouldn't offer to help if they didn't want to help you. So if he says he wants to help you, believe him and take him up on it. Even if you know you could do it yourself and even if it may feel like too much and unfair. For many men, this is their way of being romantic and showing you that they care. Ask for advice. I think we've all heard the following take. Men will try to fix your problems when all you want them to do is listen. And this is true and something that he needs to know if he's going to meet your needs. But by the same token, there are times when you truly do feel lost on what to do. And in these moments, you should consider going to him for advice. I think one of the most flattering things you can do for another person is look to them for help in this way. At the end of the day, it's obviously your life, but I'm sure you wouldn't be dating him if he wasn't a smart person with good ideas. So don't be afraid to take his advice every once in a while. Give and take. This is not so much about how to make him feel needed, but a word of caution. It's great to make a guy feel needed, but this should not be your only goal. Relationships are a two-way street. If he feels needed, but doesn't feel like he can count on you to meet his needs, then he's going to feel taken advantage of. Not saying that things need to be 100% equal. Most relationships do have a bit of an imbalance in different areas and at different times, and that's totally normal. But there needs to be attempts made on your part to offer him something as well. Listen to his side of things. It's easy to fall into familiar routines in a relationship, but don't let this happen in conversation. It's so easy to miss out on important things because we're caught up with the day to day and because men can be not so great at speaking up when they need to be heard. With that in mind, make sure to listen to him, ask questions and really take your time when you can tell he needs it. This can be anything from a problem at work to a family issue to a piece of art that really meant something to him. Make sure he knows that what's important to him is important to you too and he's going to know that you really care. That just about does it for this video. How do you make a man feel needed? I'd love to hear your stories about it in the comments. And if you learned anything at all from this video or even remembered something you forgot, please hit those like and subscribe buttons for me. I'm Emily Baker and I'll see you next time.